everyone this is Mary Flower I'm gonna show you a little junk journal I made from an old canning cookbook and I really liked the vintage look of it and so I decided to make a, a junk journal with um, two signatures in it so it's about that thick it's it's pretty cute and I have left some of the original uh, cookbook um, pages in here so I'm just going to go through this really quick. As you can see, some of them are left in there. I think I tried to leave some of my favorite ones, favorite pages. And so I made it, uh, even with the designer paper that match, I tried it to go with the kitchen theme. And used uh, little canning jars. Uh, for the tabs. Let me hold it closer so you can see. I think that turned out cute. So, I'm just going to do a quick flip through here. Has some things about um, gardening and how to make your garden really good. An old book that I really like. And I included some of those pages. It looks kind of cool in there. Plenty of places to journal and add um, your pictures or whatever it is you want. This might be a really good um, journal to for kitchen your old kitchen recipes and and to journal about your cooking someone who loves canning and cooking this would be a really good uh, book to use and uh, it would make a good present for Mother's Day or for whoever you'd like but it's kind of interesting and vintage looking it has a little jar of something in there with cute little bees And so as you can see, somebody who likes cooking or working in the kitchen and writing about their experience or recipes or whatever, this might be a fun little book to have. Anyway, then I have uh, these nice little flowers on the front. And you can see it's been discarded, but I just picked it up. I thrifted all of the stains, everything on here is... Uh, what I picked up when I got it from the thrift store and couldn't pass that one up. I thought that was really cute. So it's going to be on eBay and I will, as soon as this video is done, I'll link it for you. And thank you.